Good morning, Strategy Battle Gamers. Morning. Good morning, everybody. How is everybody? Uh, we're all well. It is the morning after the night before. Is that a correct expression? <laughs> well, we're just making it up. Um, so we're all feeling a little bit rough after last night. I'm sure you could gather that. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing, I think, of uh, yeah, <laughs> last night in particular's uh, journey vlog. Uh, but we all got up this morning, had uh, high-pressured showers that were really nice and oh, toasty yeah, and awesome. warm. I felt pretty calm in the shower, actually. An absolute a gourmet breakfast of rice crispies <laughs> with some milk. And, uh, and Jamie has always been a sweetheart, made us all a brew. Uh, so I think we all feel really fresh and that we're gonna, we're, we can attack the Long Bottom Carnival today on the final day. How's everybody feel they're gonna get on? Steve? Three wins. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna win it. You're gonna win it? I'm gonna win it. Nah, Tom, no. <laughs> Damien's uh, in the running. He's I'm gonna win it. Good stuff. Can't win it. And, uh, and Jamie? I have three wins today. Three wins, look at that. Confidence all around. I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm going for two wins in the last. <laughs> That's what I think. Okay, so, uh, so uh, I'll come back probably with my next opponent. So here we are, we are back in Titans War Gaming. A little bit of messing around with the tables because someone has miscalculated their points and they've been found out. Uh, but it does mean I get to play the wonderful Thomas Seacum. Uh, we last time we played. Was it last time we played or the first time that we played that we had? No, the first time we played it was Seize the Prize. Seize the Prize, yeah. We had the, <laughs> the quite quick Rohan army. I had a very quick yeah. Rohan army, so we did that, but then we like, oh, we'll play it to the death and you proceeded to take me to pieces. And then we played again at East Green instead. When I had the Goblin Sprite. Oh my days. One. one of the toughest <laughs> the games I've ever had. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't realise the Goblin Sprite could bring on yeah. goblins from any table edge. So it really messed up my strategy. So when he started, goblins started appearing behind and sideways and stuff. But luckily, two Sun of Ale charges and Aim had just been able to get out of charge range because he would have died. He was on one wound. <laughs> um, just won me that game. So what have you brought with you? So today it's Scout Hero Go. It's an Ammon Hen theme. Oh, Ammon Hen theme. So it must be my army. And you're on table eight. Table eight, three games. Eight two, so you're on two wins and a loss? Yeah, that's right. Man, good man. It's looking a very pretty army as well, really nicely painted. I love these models. Uh, yeah. The, uh, the ones where they're carrying hobbits. So I did uh, four of them to have uh, Frodo and Sam as well. Oh, that is awesome. And I converted a banner uh, from an, from an Oglock. <laughs> now don't be confused guys, the end there is not part of this no, army. <laughs> uh, that's obviously for the tree scenarios. Yeah. Uh, well, you got the, uh, the hobbits there, they're your objective. Yeah, for this is a really cool looking army, you should be proud of yourself man. It's really 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 cool. So how are you expecting you're going to get on today? I think it's going to be quite a tough day. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try hard. <laughs> yeah, this this could be very tough. Uh, what do you have? You've got Shaman, uh, Mahur and Brasco. Yeah, Lurts there. Oh, you've got Lurts? There's a lot of them. Captain, Drummer. <laughs> wow. Well, mind you, Drummer might help you a little bit in this one. Might have to rush you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be the only way. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure we're going to have a really, really well. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to have a good fun game. We always play in a nice spirit. So, uh, so guys, we'll come back maybe after the game and uh, let you know how we got on. What a game. That was awesome. That was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that, buddy, because yep. uh, if we zoom down on the table here, you'll see in this little corner, there's not a lot left for both of us. That's my dead pile, your dead pile over here. Uh, that was a bit of a crazy game. It played really, really well. I, I massively enjoyed that. Now, for anybody who, who's looking at Thomas's army and thinking, whoa, that's really, really good. It's not, is it? It's not a particularly good army. Uh, Thomas is a very, very good player. I think every single time I've played your pub and the the prize one, it's been, it's been a nice. really close game. Like, really close. I broke you. On the last fight of the game? Yeah, I mean, it was coming up to time, and we kind of said to each other, well, do I run away? Because I was very vulnerable. Do I run away? I played this the last turn, and I had to kill all but one, I think. I think that was a bit. Oh, no, no, all but two uh, to break you. But you'd have killed one more of mine, you'd have broken me. You did have someone down out, you'd have wounded him. That would have been an issue. Uh, so in the end, it was an 8-0 victory. But how did you feel like that game went? It was good fun, actually, uh, to take on the Knights. Yeah, I did play it a bit stupid. I did not before, so it's a bit new, yeah. Well, I didn't play them how you're supposed to do it. Um, but that's because... I have, to, I, have to, I have to admit to you, I don't, I'm not enjoying using them as much like Rohan. Yeah. But Rohan doesn't do that. Rohan isn't good enough at shooting to do it. Whereas these guys, they are. So it's not as fun. You want it, You get tempted to put things in. So effectively, what I did was early on in the game, get rid of your drum and yeah. try and get on alerts. Or, you know. That was a good move to take out the drum. Yeah, well, I thought, 
cut into the drum, stop you from being able to chase me, and really then I could just run away. And as long as I made sure that I had seven models away, and I made sure I had eight, <laughs> just in case, which is lucky, because uh, that eight inch Marauder movement, yeah, it really got me there, that, that really caused me trouble. Um, you played that really, really well as well, there's a couple of nice little moves, Legolas went down, but I did chuck him in there as a bit of hand grenade. Uh, is there anything you'd do differently in that game? see who we've been drawn against. Um, fingers crossed for something not too tough because that was a really tough game but it was good fun, we like playing each other. Uh, so I'll come back with my next video. So I've been a little bit better after taking a bunch of fluids in and a cracking game with Thomas Seacombe as well. We've all just had some lunch to stop waiting again which is alright. And, uh, and everyone's going around now and they're voting for best painted army, most sporting. Uh, there's also uh, a, an interesting one here today. All of you Palantir fans will like this. There is a Fredo Award, so you can nominate one person, any person who's here, to get a Fredo. I think I've got one of the young lads who's first time with this. Um, and then, of course, you've got so best painted, uh, most sporting, best tree. There's a lot of party trees and things here. I'm going to go around and show you a couple of the armies, um, so let me know what you think. So this was the army that I played last, which I think is really quite nice, actually. It's an Urukai Scout army. There's some really nice detail in some of the eyes. It's washed quite well. Uh, we've got um, that's Sam Jeffrey's army, the people in the second game. Uh, of course, around here, we have the army that you guys have all seen in my hobby vlogs. Uh, my Riverdale Knights, with Legolas. Playing it a little bit like a fool at the moment. Um, here we go, it's Mr. Cool Steve's army. There we go, Cool Steve. The Cool Steve's round here. Uh, he's got a lovely party tree there, nice little conversion. Easy thing on the face, we'll have a look at that. What do you think of that, guys? Can you see it? If you want to see a better um, picture of that, then get yourself onto the Great British Hobby League, Great British Hobby League page because it's all on there. Uh, so we've got some more armies here. There's some uh, Isengard, lots of Isengard here actually. Uh, so we've got Goblin Town, Goblin Town seems to be making a bit of a resurgence. This is Camille Manson's um, party tree, which looks very cool. A lot of effort's gone into that. Um, <laughs> A little bit like, I think, is it Commander Manskis? I think it might be. Uh, of course, some ring raids. Some of the tables as well, so it gives you a bit of an idea of what it's like. Some Azog's Hunters. More Isengard. Are these Damien's Isengard? No, they're not Damien's Isengard. Uh, World Champion's doing very well with this event, aren't you, buddy? You got four wins? Yep, so far. Yeah, that's about to stay on four wins. Sure, sure. <laughs> And then we've got Mr. Ed Paul, we love him very, very much. No, we Looks like it's going to be a uh, going to be a tough game. We'll go into game mode. He won't want to have fun with you. Oh, I'll have fun with him. Yeah, look at that, fighting talk, come on, fighting talk. Down here we've got top table. Uh, no, you're not top table, you're just sat there, right? I am top, I am top Oh, oh yeah, Mr. J. Clare, we love this guy. Lots of kisses, Ooh, last night was amazing. Uh, Mr. O'Burn's not feeling too great, so we're, we're going to move along. <laughs> just in case he goes green on the camera. And uh, come around here, have a little look at some of the other armies. This is the army that I'm playing next, I believe. Which is uh, lots of half troopers and arbalesters. It looks, looks pretty. It looks like it's going to be a really tough game. Um, so around here, some more the boards. You can get a little bit of an idea how the boards are here and all here, of course. These are the TO ring around. These are painted really nicely. They uh, always like the shells work. And the objective markers are great. I was played them before. They're really good. And uh, nice, nice work from the Legolas and the Elven Heroes here. I'm sure you agree. There's Chris. Having fun, Chris? How are we doing? All right. Oh yeah, having a really good time. Having a really good time. Neil Demansky, having a good time, buddy? Yeah, good one. Well, well. Alistair, he's come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come round here, some. Oh, it's Mr. Harrison. How you doing, buddy? Did you win the last game? Oh my days. You are doing terrible. You should have brought something awful. So you did well. Um, this is always this is an interesting board. Now some people really like it, some people don't, but it is beautiful to look at. Beautiful to look at. Makes the game a little bit more like a board game, I have to say. So it looks really, really nice just with the print out on the bottom. And we've got a lovely army down here of Woeses. Every day you see a full Woes army. It's very cool. Um, so coming around here, 
How's it going, mate? Are you having a good time? Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, we've got another army down here, more Felbies, a lot of Felbies down here. Oh, some more elves, lots of elves, lots of Felbies, lots of Isengard. So it gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, competitiveness. Yeah, we've got a great company down there. We've got Mr. Triffitt. How's it going, buddy? Look, Shiver over there, who got us all totally wasted last night. And I've got it all on camera. <laughs> it's Mr. Macklin. What's up? What's up? What's up? So there you go guys, that's how things are looking around here. I've not gone down all the middle tables, but uh, we've just had lunch and we'll come into the next game. Next game is going to be tough, tough, tough. So here I am guys with my next opponent and it's been a very tough army. You are Luke Bilton, is that right? This is Luke Bilton, is this your first tournament mate? Second. Second tournament? Which was the one you went to first? Huddersfield, Where are you from? Middlesbrough, you've got a good little group up there. There's quite a few. Have you met up with like Ian Marley and Sean Hunt? There's 10 of them, just a I've seen them on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pure, it's got a good little community scene, which is, which is good. So let's have a little look at your army. So you want to talk this group very quickly? Yeah, so we've got the Warban, led by Chieftain, which is by Halfway, three man, and two African guards. Wow. We've got another one, it's a Taskmaster, who's leading five half trots and five more. Yeah. Um, and we've got a Corsair Captain, who's the one with the peg leg and the eye patch. Yeah, the other's leading the Arbats. Then the Arbats shows the overall general. Wow, wow. So, very different kind of army. What's the inspiration for the army? Yeah, I really like the rules. <laughs> A lot of people really don't like them because they're an invention. I'm kind of, I don't really like the models themselves, and their profile is very good. They should do you really well in this game, actually. Um, so, but we will see. So, we're going to try and figure out how to do this. And this is your party tree here. Yeah, that's not party tree, is it? This is Old Man Willow. It's Old Man Willow. So, the very best of luck, and uh, we'll probably come back in at the end of the game. And he's beaten me. <laughs>
game will be king of it. <laughs> For this game, uh, but it looks really cool. We're on quite a cool board. This is a foreground, uh, foreground scenery, terrain things. I think. Yeah. I think Damien yeah, is around, yeah. Damien's been assembling something like this. So, buddy, the very, very best of luck. We're going to have good fun. Uh, we always have. We ever played each other? No, never, never. Surely. No. I play against Jamie. No. We must have done. No. Unbelievable. I would remember this that. is a first. <laughs> yeah, we would remember that. We're good pals. So we're going to play now. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a great game. And uh, we'll come back. We'll let you know, yeah. you know, you know who slid and who stayed. So, uh, so we'll come back later. So just ever so quickly, because they are packing up in here, Camille and I have come towards the end. And you can see a sad face in the background. Because after an epic game, King Goblin didn't come on for three turns. He was cheating. <laughs> I did lots of cheating to win that. Uh, you were smashing it, weren't you? Sound Man was amazing, uh, but I did manage to get off three more times, and you would have needed another turn. You would have needed, you would have needed another turn to get something off. And my little block in there. Uh, so Maybe in this scenario, I can have a chance. I think, well, I think, I think, I think, seven out of ten times you beat me in that scenario. So great to play you last. I really enjoyed it. We need, we need beer. <laughs> we need beer. See you later, subscribers. Me and Camille getting beer. So strategy battle. <laughs> so strategy battle gamers. What you can see here is the big Ferrari of everybody leaving. There are people crying, weeping, all upset. At, no, to be fair, uh, we just had an amazing raffle. Loads of really great prizes given out at Titans, which was good. Um, James Baldwin got best painted again. Uh, and apparently, there was a couple of guys who got eight, just one uh, below him. Uh, Thomas Macklin got best sporting. Uh, and also got uh, an honorary Freddo as well, which was pretty cool. Um, and then everyone just had a look at the prizes. So, in third place was Billy Fitzmaurice from Nottingham. Uh, you've all seen him on the channel. Hello, Jamie. He did, they did terrible. Don't worry about them. <laughs> uh, and in second place, we had a draw on the final game. And Ed Ball just... Ed Ball just... God, look, look at these two. Look, look at these two. Unbelievable. Uh, Ed Ball just got pipped by the wonderful Jay Clare, wherever he is. Jay Clare's over there. There he is. There's our, uh, there's our tournament winner. Let's just uh, put, put it up in the air in triumph. Yeah, it's not a picture. Not a picture. Do, do what me nan used to do. <laughs> Uh, so that's our tournament winner, congratulations buddy. Uh, and then this is our standings on there. Unfortunately, Mr. Owen Byrne dropped out a little bit. Uh, and now, just for all of you guys on the plant here, who decided that it would be, uh, that in terms of rankings, you put them, and then you put Tom Jamie, and then you put me. Now, we know who you are because you've got usernames, but in fourth place, fourth place guys, it was me. And then we don't get to another channel post until Jamie Gibbon who's 17th. Tom Parson was 22nd. And where is... Oh, Damien O'Byrne was 8th, sorry. Damien O'Byrne was 8th. Uh, so, it's a little bit of a look at uh, how, how the standings were. So I had a very, very tough game at the end. I got beaten by one victory point there. Uh, so we're hopefully going to grab some food now. We're hungry, aren't we? We're absolutely... We are... oh. You're not hungry? We are absolutely, we are absolutely starving. Camille, you also won the best tree. I voted for you. Shepherd of Trees. Uh, so we've had a great time here at Titans. Here's our most sporting. Look at him. Loving the attention on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bluesy. Uh, so we've had a great time here and, uh, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog so far. Uh, whether we come back later, I don't know. We've done a lot of footage today. Uh, so maybe we'll see you tomorrow. I jacked the camera from James's hobby vlog and we are now at the end of the tournament and you can see that things have changed somewhat from last night. No more beers. Everyone's just having a bit of a quiet latte. <laughs> Here we go, this is going to be the final instalment of today's journey vlog because we are winding down. It's currently 10 to 11. I've been editing the uh, the hobby vlogs and I decided that this would be the well, the journey vlogs. This would be the last one for day three and day two is being uploaded as we speak. And over here, we are family. So the guys have been playing... What's in Chicken thighs. 221B Baker Street. 220, it's like a game of Cluedo, is that right? Yeah, it's like Sherlock. Right. Advanced like Cluedo. Cluedo on crack. Advanced Cluedo. Take my Don't take crack. Hello, Ollie. <laughs> so Emma's got a bit of a thing for Ollie. You've met him a few times, haven't you? 
Yeah, he's so kissed nice. you on the cheek. Have you washed that cheek? No. <laughs> Smells like Ollie. <laughs> uh, so who won the last game of this? Guess. Oh, I managed to win it. Despite very rude sniggerings from these two guys, oh, I think it's going to be wrong. <laughs> Showed them. Showed them in the stupid not knowing faces. It's usually the case. What were you other stupid oh, not knowing faces? Oh, it's a case. Oh, that's pretty it's funny. A pun, yeah, it's yeah. a pun. So definitely kind of a nice way to wind down after a tournament. I mean, SPG is the last thing on our... Yeah, no one wants to play SPG after two days of playing SPG. No, it's, it's exhausting, isn't it? It's exhausting playing the game for that amount of time. But, um, I don't understand. Stop sniggering. <laughs> it is. It's exhausting, it's so isn't exhausting. it? It just takes it out of you. In the drive to Finchley and hey, back. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Has that been covered? On the yeah, it was covered. When, when I was entering into Titans, you were ahead of us, obviously. Concerned about I knew I, I, I IKEA safe cushions, not mm, safe cushions. Oh, so that, yeah, that's either. So th this is these are the reparations, <laughs> are they? So is it the joint account card was yeah. allowed to be used I completely? For Josh I'm worried. It, <laughs> it wasn't ever attached. It was. It was not. Oh, so a nice way to sort of wind down at the end of the uh, at the end of the day. Tomorrow <laughs> we're going to get most of our. Uh, doing battle companies tomorrow. We're going to have a sleep. Tomorrow. We're going to do a special episode of The Plant here. Oh, so it's which should be really, really cool. We might get <laughs> we might get around to doing um, the Age of Sigma discussion and unboxing, perhaps. I should pack for America. We should do all of these things. We're going to do none of these things. We're going to get up at 1pm and then we're going to watch The Lord of the Rings extended edition and then at midnight we're going to go, oh God! I'm not going to get up at 1pm because I'm going to get up at 7 because I go back to work tomorrow. Oh. Sad face. Oh, no. So everybody's going to be up. I'll be up anyway. You know you're trying to make people think that that's an awful thing who who just do normal jobs and haven't had six weeks off. <laughs> 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 So that's going to be it for today. Uh, so good night to everybody, and uh, and we'll be back with day four of our journey vlog. And day four will mostly be me filming us filming lots. <laughs>